What's up guys, Brian Levy from 8 Steps Forensics, and in the last module of impromptu speaking, we're going to be talking about practice. Now, practice can get a little tedious, but remember, you're never going to be a great impromptu speaker if you don't practice. Even though you may have natural talent, practice is what makes a champion. But after all, one of the most important parts of practice is repetition, and continuously repeating the same drills often allows you to become better at impromptu speaking. The best drill by far isn't even really a drill, it's kind of the motto for speech events, it's give a speech a day. Giving at least one speech a day and practicing your event every single day will help you master your craft. You'll get so much better at impromptu speaking in just one week if you give at least one impromptu speech a day. If you were to record yourself on a Monday and then record yourself again on a Sunday after giving one speech a day, the difference is extremely noticeable. But then, going over your examples. Now, in the last module, I talked about your example notebook. And I talked about how you have to familiarize yourself with these examples. Practicing the narrative of each example, after not, while not reusing it, of course, helps you familiarize yourself with the narrative and the story itself, allowing you to simplify the speech and making it as effective as possible. But then, practicing your thesis. So, one of the main drills you can do for impromptu speaking isn't actually giving a speech. Just have someone give you a quotation or find a quotation and then just write the thesis that you would have for it in 30 seconds, for example. Well, try to make the thesis and try to cut down your time every single time you do it. Getting your thesis as quickly as possible is one of the most important things about impromptu. It allocates more time in your prep time and makes you, helps you give your examples even better. But then the shouting game. So the shouting game is one of my favorite drills to do with impromptu. It's always with an audience, and basically pick one or two people or an audience and have them shout examples at you. Every time they shout an example, you just have to have 10 seconds and then try to explain the examples to them. Now, I learned that the best way to do this is play with a five-year-old. They know a lot of Disney examples, and Disney examples always work. But then, empty the envelope. Now, emptying the envelope is another drill that can get a little difficult to do and a little tiring and exhausting. Basically, it's pick an envelope, put 10, 10 quotations in it, and then just keep giving a speech until the envelope is empty. It'll be a little exhausting at the end, but it'll help you get much better at impromptu speaking. And then, one of the best things to do is having no time signals. Now, of course, an impromptu speech is seven minutes for two minutes to prep and five minutes to actually give the speech. But trying to prep and speak with no minutes and getting as close as you can to seven minutes helps you feel out the time a little better. And not every time when you go to a tournament, a judge, a judge isn't always going to know how to give you time signals. Sometimes they haven't been taught correctly, or maybe they just don't know. So it's always important that you have your internal clock running as best as you can. Because in this case, even if it's broken and it's right, it's still not right enough. So take the right step with eight steps and become better at impromptu speaking.